to like that meme where it's like, hey, hey, hey. how are you doing? <laughs> Hi, <Adam>. uh, <laughs> at this point, this is, I guess, um, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I guess this is kind of what we expect on this channel now. Uh, drop a couple of videos, disappear for like two months, come back. So, um, every season is in full swing, but I have yet not done the Pisces look, which is what I'm gonna do today. I don't really have any ideas. I can't remember last time I came across someone who was a Pisces, but a lot of my friends have Pisces moons. So I'm thinking maybe like mauves and teals, but like quite light and whimsical kind of like the libra look this is a really crap introduction hey <laughs> i'm dakota Rea. uh welcome back to my channel if you are returning sometimes i post videos sometimes i just remove my face from the earth for like two months and then uh yeah i, I don't even know what excuse to use this time i just guess i've been Enjoying the sun. Wow, England is having some great weather. Finally. Yay. I'm actually wearing shorts for the first time in maybe like two years. <laughs> so, uh, but I don't want to let you guys wait any longer. Not that you have been waiting, but presumably you do want to see the Pisces look and uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah. I just want to give like a shout out to my mullet at the moment because it is I mean, we're trying to make the most of it considering I desperately need a haircut, but I'm kind of vibing. I can do like these little ponytail things. That's cute. I just got this bamboo headband thing. I thought that would be good to like get my hair out of the way and look semi-professional. Um, well, this is, this is, um, this is really something quite special, actually. I'm gonna do my makeup slightly different today. I'm gonna start off with uh, this C SPF 30 Plus Booster. Um, it's an oil. I got it in like a little fall pack from Superdrug the other day. And it's actually been helping my skin quite a lot. So that's been fun. But also it's now getting warm. We should be protecting our skin. And I'm also gonna put some sun cream on my whole body later when I leave. Uh, rambling on. Anyways, I'm just gonna put this on. I literally can't see what I'm doing because my mirror's all the way down here. I've broke my tripod. Um, so that's not a vibe. I'm just gonna... Wee! <laughs> Shove that on. That was not enough! That was not enough. Yeah, I've got a barbecue to go to later, so I'm hoping that I don't get some burnt. If I put this underneath my makeup. I'm still really spotty down here, but that's nothing new, so. <sighs> I think I got it in my eyes. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> um. Oh my god, that really does burn. This is like the third time I've done it this week. That cannot be good. Oh my god! <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, well I feel like that's sufficiently... <laughs> made its moment on my skin. Let's uh, go. <laughs> this is such a mess. I apologize. I'm in such a dopey mood today. I'm going in with the ordinary high spread ability fluid primer. Uh, hopefully that doesn't react badly to that SPF because both of them are like really quite oily. But hopefully it'll hydrate my skin enough that when I put my foundation on it won't stick to all my dry patches. I saw this meme the other day and it was like all these all the Aries babes out there um grateful for Pisces season being over um it was something really dramatic like it's just been really hard for them and honestly I think that's probably why it took me so long to do this video because I'm like 
I don't celebrate you Pisces folk because Pisces season destroyed me. It was so like I don't I don't think I've ever been so emotional for a whole month for a long time. I don't know why everything just seemed to really upset me. <laughs> um so finally I'm in my own season. I'm thriving, I'm loving life, I'm so happy, I'm giddy, I'm just newfound enthusiasm. Airy season is quite possibly the best season of the year, in my opinion. So glad that Pisces season is over, but I'm giving y'all a little moment because I gotta stay integral to myself somewhat. I think my camera's like slightly moving. It's like held up by blue tack at the moment, so fingers crossed we can get it for this video. Apologize if this ends up turning portrait you because I'm losing the will to live. <laughs> This is such a mess! Right, moving on. Oh my god, it's been like 20 minutes just to do the first bit. Uh, I can't deal with this camera. I don't know how far we're gonna get through this. Um, hope and pray for me. I'm using the Collection Lost and Perfection Concealer. It's almost run out, but you know how these things go. I'll probably still be using it for the next year because... Oh my god, that burns. That burns. That burns. Uh, panic, 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 panic. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> I think this is karma for not enjoying Pisces season. <laughs> Let's put some concealer on in hopes that maybe I will get some burn on the tip of my nose. Uh, next bit. Oh my god, my eyes are still burning. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the buffing brush. Put on my hand. So I just recently found out that my descending sign is in Pisces, which is interesting. I've not looked too much into it. I don't really know what that means for me. I didn't think I had any water in my chart. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with the fact that I just was not living my best life for Pisces season. If your descending sign is in, if your descending sign is in Pisces, let me know um, what that means because I'd like to know. And also how Pisces season has affected you. I feel like a lot of people were struggling. So it'd be nice to know I wasn't the only one. Moving on, I think we will set that all in place with my powder, uh, the Revolution Matte Face Powder with a brush. I don't think I'm gonna pack it on too much, just like a light coverage. I'm trying to stop over powdering because I think it makes me look more washed out and just dry. I don't think it does any favors for my dry skin, so. Um, so I don't really have any immediate ideas on what I wanna do for the eyes, but I've got some eyeshadow palettes with colors I'm thinking of maybe using. So I said mauve and teal. I don't actually have any teal, but I feel like the two Prelude Blood Crime palettes, um, Chroma and Exposed, have kind of like uh, washed out kind of neutral colors, which I, I really want to use a base. I feel like I've used it in another video, but I want to keep it quite light and like wearable um, instead of quite crazy because I don't know, I just feel like that would be the vibe. I think I'm going to use Virgin, this like really light pink, like baby pink from the Exposed palette. I think I'm gonna use that as a base color. Pack that on. Hmm. I think I'm gonna put Olympia from the Chroma palette on top of that, uh, just so it's not as like pink. Just to blend those two colors together, make it more neutral. I think I am going to go in with a base from the Exposed palette in the crease. Um, this brush has a little bit of blue still on it, so I'm hoping that can kind of give me more of a blue toned purple. I think I am going to go in with some like glitters and stuff. See that? I quite like that. I think it's giving me slightly punched in the eyeball bruise colour. I'm just going to take it all over the lid to be honest. And blend it all in together. Um, I think actually, and I know that this colour, so this is from the Lime Crime birthday palette, I know that this is called Libra, but I think I just want to take a little bit underneath here with a little brush. And this is a bit where it makes me look like a lot pink eye, isn't it? I quite like that though. You know what? I think I might do it on the top line too. Hi. 
Hi, Harry. <laughs> the cat's scratching at the door. I'm just gonna let her in. <laughs> Okay, but you have to be quiet. Come on. Come on. You can come in. Come on. I think she wants to come and sit my I hope this doesn't look too crazy because I have a barbecue to go to later and I don't think my self esteem can deal with my friends laughing at me at this moment in time. I kind of like it though. I don't know. I know it's not perfect. Oh my god, I just got it on the nose. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's different. It's definitely different. I haven't done another look like this and also kind of low-key wish that I had some like purple mascara because I think that would be a look. Now I'm gonna go in with the two shades that I love to use when I'm trying to do like whimsical looks and it's Tunicone and Cloud and I just like mix them together with both my fingers and I'm just gonna go the whole lid. I love, 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 love these two colours together. Because I, I think Cloud is just like white glitter and then Tunicorn is like pink, purple and like kind of blue. So that's fun. I think I'm also going to use this as highlight as well. Just to tie it all in together. I kind of want to do white eyeliner but I kind of don't want to ruin it. It might be too much. I'm just going to do the highlight first. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I just got some white eyeliner and I really want to try it. And I guess if all fails, at least it's not as dramatic as black eyeliner, so it won't be comfortable, hopefully. But it's the NYX. Is it the white liquid liner? Oh crap, it's water resistant, which means it's probably not gonna come off if I make a mistake. Oh, it's really watery. Oh damn. Oh, uh, actually, maybe this could be easy to use. Oh my god, it was such a shaky hand. I just realised that you can't even see that I put like that purple eyeshadow on. Mm. I'm just kind of covered it up. Oh no, I'm doing too thick now. You know what? I I kind of regret. I kind of regret. But I'm gonna have to do it on the other side now. I think what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do it. Should I put the purple eyeshadow on top, or should I just? try and see what it looks like with the mascara on. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of hard to get like an opaque coat. It's kind of patchy. And I don't know if that's because I just don't know what I'm doing or that it's just harder to use because it's white. But it looks really chalky. I don't know if it's going to dry down that. Uh, that is quite bold. That is quite bold, I must admit. Um. I didn't think it would be as powerful as like black eyeliner but actually it's worse and it's incredibly noticeable that it's not very good. Um, oh I just smudged it. Oh my god my eyes are actually done and this was a terrible idea. Uh, did I fix it? Oh my god. You know what, this would look really cute for like 60s makeup, but um, I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just winging it. Hey, I just don't know when to stop. Like I just, I keep going. Oh, my eyes are on fire. Um, I think I'm going to stop there. I'm going to try some mascara before this completely melts off my face. Mm, I think I'm going to do black eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner. If it doesn't want to go everywhere. I think I might try and leave like a thin bit of the white. So that idea isn't completely ruined. Now I think I actually preferred it with the white. <laughs> Completely. Uh, but it's still it to go back now. So we're doing this little double eyeliner moment. The white eyeliner is already like cracking. Um, so I guess it's kind of a good thing that we've covered it in this black liner. But 
I don't know, does it look ridiculous or should I just cover the whole thing? I can't even tell anymore. <laughs> Maybe I just need to go back over with the white and clean it up a little bit. This is where I end up with like 50 layers of eyeliner on. Damn it. <laughs> oh no, that was way too thick. Oh my god, this is a terrible mistake. I, I think that's really as good as we can polish this turd. <laughs> I haven't even done my eyebrows. We should probably go back to that. I'm just going to use the Revolution Brow Mascara thing. <laughs> I think for lips I'm going to do like a mauve nude. So I think Teddy Bear by Lime Crime is pretty close. Set this all in place. I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Fix Setting Spray. Um, Smooth my fringe up there. Apologies for the train wreck of this video. We're finally finished. One more left. Um, I might even film that one tomorrow so I can get it up way before the end of fairy season. Um, and that will mark the last of the Zodiac series. Sorry for the train wreck. I promise that my timekeeping isn't this bad at anything else. It's, it just tends to be any sort of self-motivating activities. <laughs> Please look out for the Aries one, that will be the last one in the series. I'm really looking forward to that one because I know exactly what I'm going to do. Pisces season, you have been giving me bad luck since day one. I am so over you and <laughs> I'm glad that we finished this look. I, I kind of like the double eyeliner look. I just don't know if it suits this colour combination. I do like the purple though and I think the lips kind of looks cute. So yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, I guess. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will leave the folder for all of the other um, Zodiac series videos if you haven't checked them out. I've done pretty much all of them, have Mary's now. And um, yeah, they all kind of go like this. It starts off and then... Mm. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Sorry for everything and um, I'll see you in my next one I guess. Bye!